Sandy the Enthusiast, how are you doing? I hope you're all well and I hope you're having a great day. Um, I am in my pyjamas, I'm in my Star Wars pyjamas actually. Um, kind of life of a YouTuber that uploads videos regularly. I have a regular sort of schedule and I'd forgotten to record the intro this evening, which means I don't get a chance to render the video, I can't upload the video overnight. If I don't upload the video during the night, it means I do it during the day, and then the kids get really annoyed because they're lagging on Fortnite because I'm hogging all the internet bandwidth. So I thought I'd come out here and just get it done. So you'd have seen the intro, we're back on the Hillman Imp wheels. I've kind of got to the point where I've got an obsession with these wheels now, I'll be glad that they're done, they're fitted, and everything's sorted out with them because I'm kind of getting bored of them myself. Um, but they look great. Just before we get into uh, fitting the wheels on and too much into today's video, I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to Mini Matt TV. His channel is down in the description down the bottom. Mini Matt done this for free for me. So he, he machined the wheel nuts for me, uh, even paid the postage, etc. So. Thank you, Matt, I really, really appreciate it. And if you wanna support this channel, if you wanna do something for me, go over to Mini Matt's channel, and it's all about classic minis. If you watch this channel, I'm sure you'll enjoy his as well. Go and hit his subscribe button, and uh, go and watch the video that I put down in the link in the description down below. That's when I went and helped Matt out getting his car started. So it's kind of returning a favor, but, Thank you very much, Matt, and like I say, you watching this video, if you want to help me out, pop over and subscribe to Matt's channel. I'd really, really appreciate that. So anyway, it's getting cold out here. Let's get into the rest of this week's video. All right, here's your wheel nuts, Keith. Obviously, you've got the the taper is wrong on there, so we're just taking them to flat so your washer will fit nicely. So as you can see, they were a bit ropey and you've got your part off when they were produced. So we're giving them a clean up, <clears throat> skim that face, a little bit of a countersink and they should be lovely.
Right, hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Tom. Today, we're going to be making this. Oh yes, my nuts. Right, so we've got our wheel nuts back off Matt. I will show you how they fit now because as I say, some people weren't quite sure, got asked lots of questions. One of the questions I got asked was why can't I just take that nut and put a 45 degree taper on it? The answer to that is because it's too narrow. So there's not enough meat on it. It's not wide enough to machine a 45 degree taper on there. And it's not 45 degree, I think it's spherical on here. Either way, so um, obviously let's mount the wheel on. It's probably easier to show you the bit about hub centric now. So as you can see, that wheel can move around quite a lot on that hub. On most cars, it's centralized. There's a ring on the hub here that you fit the wheel on. It locks or it fits over that ring in the middle of the hub and that holds it central. But obviously on a Mini, there's nothing there. There is no ring there. So it relies on the nuts, on the studs to centralize it, which is why I was getting worked up or I really wanted to make sure I've got the correct taper on there. Now what I have found, if I just fit the washers and the nuts and tighten them up, now that will pull that wheel in central uh, to those washers. But because you've got to get the washer on, the washer's actually about one mil wider than the stud itself. So it can still be slightly out. So that washer's a M10 washer. Um, next size down is an M8, which is too small. I'd want in the middle, but no one makes an M9. So I found a way to get this perfect. So if I just show on the other GoPro. So at the moment with that on, even though they're tapered now, they're correct tapered wheel nuts on there, it's not perfect. So it's still that stud is still not centralized in the wheel on the hole, in the hole on the wheel, sorry. Don't know whether that's visible. So two, get it perfectly centralized. It's a bit of a faff, but I found a way of doing it. So what I've found is I've got some old wheel nuts here. They're mini wheel nuts again, but they've got a 60 degree taper and they go right down narrow, right to the bottom of the thread. Now they actually fit inside the hole on the Hillman Imp wheels. So the stud hole on the Hillman Imp wheels are narrower than they, um, sorry, they're wider than a mini. Um, I assume the Hillman Imp had larger wheel studs. So now what I can do is I can use these to centralize the wheel. And that gets it absolutely perfect. So now when I look again with the washers off, The stud is perfectly centralized. The stud is perfectly centralized in the hole in the wheel now because it's being held in place by these two, which are tapered. But I can't use them because as you see, there's a big gap down the side there now. So then that causes a bit of a dilemma when I actually want to fit the wheel. So what I do, is I use one of these tight in place to hold it in place. It's not gonna move now. And what I can actually do is take this one out. I need to fit the washers first because you can't get the washer through the hub cap. Like that. That'll hold that in place. We can now take this one out. 
And now what we can do is fit all four washers. Fit the hub cap on. And as you see that nut fits through that hole. I can now fit the proper wheels, wheel nuts. I can now take that one out. Our washer's still in there. Put the last wheel nut on. Obviously torque them up. But the wheel is now, I'm absolutely sure, is perfectly centralised. Put our rubber caps on. And job done. So we've got the original cap on. Um, it is perfectly centralised. I haven't got to worry about it being out. Um, and we've got the correct taper on the wheel nuts now. So there we go. Hillman Imp wheels on a Mini. All fitted correctly not going to fall off and although this is the wrong mini they'll be fitted to and the hubcaps have yet to be sort of refurbished I think it's looking pretty good they fit pretty much inside the arches but yeah I like it